Hey guys, this is Nate and welcome to Punter's Pre-Mortem. No winner, so I missed the dancing. I found a way to get it into the video. About a billion group one races all over the country. Three quarters barred up. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Excited to see Remark back. Hopefully he can get the job done. Big ticket in the golden slipper futures market. Get in there, big boy. A couple of shorties that I think should get the job done. Gonna grab that low barren fruit. The Triple X best this weekend comes up at Randwick race seven over the 1600 meters in the Randwick Guineas. Number one, Aegon. I underestimated this guy coming across from New Zealand last start. Not gonna make the same mistake this time. He pulled my pants down, inserted it in there. Look, just be straight up honest, he's better than this field. There was question marks first up, coming back from a mile to 1400. Didn't matter, got the gap, exploded, blew them away. Gonna be the same story on Saturday. Honestly though, the three-year-olds are straight up garbage. This guy's less than garbage. He's gonna blow them away on Saturday. Huey Bowman, give him a peach, son. There's more speed in this race than a yacht moored at Rose Bay. Not sure that a lot of these will run out a strong mile either. Huey Bowman can sit out the back, wind him up at the rise, go bang, 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 run past this lot. After the race, wheel up the wheelbarrow to Robbie, ask him to fill it up. This guy's a New Zealander, so synonymous with sheep. You're not going to have a bad day. Ah! The cheeky, sneaky, each way better the weekend comes up at Ramwick race six over the 1200 meters, number two, Fiesta. Fiesta forever. Yep, no doubt about it. After she gets the job done on Saturday, you're gonna be up all night listening to Lionel Richie records. Side note, last time I used one of his videos in mine, he flagged the video for a three second clip. Gotta claim that one cent revenue champ. <sighs> Good race on Saturday, emanate the favorite, flew last time. $1.70, but is that a bit short against genuine group class mares that have already proven it at level? Yes, yes, has got to give her four kilos, but look what she did last preparation. Stepped up again, back to where she should be. She flies fresh, only missed a place two out of her eight starts. From Barry A, J Max, probably going to have to take her back to about midfield. But with the smaller field, it's only going to be a couple of lengths off them at the turn. Ready to pounce on them. Look, she's no special on Saturday, but she's a group quality mare that flies fresh. I'm gonna have an each way ticky on Saturday. After the race has got the love session booked, taking one of those blue pills. Oh, we're gonna be up all night, baby. All night long. The group one GG this weekend comes up at Flemington race six so over the 1200 meters, number 14. September run. She's the best horse in the race, and I think she's gonna win on Saturday, but 2.30, very short when there's this many horses in the race. It's a horse race, things happen, things go wrong. I think she's drawn okay in barrier eight, but as I said, 18 horses, there's gonna be few in front of her. She's gonna need the gaps at the right time, maybe get traffic issues. I wouldn't be piling into it, but she goes on top. Flemington straight specialist flying home to almost take nature strip at way for age level under an unsuitable distance. Stepping up to 1200, gonna be perfect. She runs sectionals that these can't do. She gets the gap on Saturday. It's gonna be lights out, baby. The rock and rangy rang do is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's road to rock and rangy rang do fighting it out. Rangy rang do on the outside is in front and rangy rang do gets his group one. 